Hi and welcome to another video here on the Nighthawk R7000 or Netgear. I'm going to show you today how to go back from a custom firmware or flash firmware to the default Netgear one. This is if you want to change it from say um, Tomato Advance to DD Works, you need to put it back to the default Netgear Genie one and then you need to re-firmware it up to the level that you want. So this is my router at the minute. You can see here it's running the Advanced Tomato firmware and it's the Netgear R7000. It is overclocked to 1.2, can get a little bit more. But for the minute, we're going to put it back. You can see it's running 3.4. We're going to put it back to the original Netgear Genie firmware. So to do that, one, you need to back up your configuration. If you haven't done that yet, I'll put a link in the description to how to do that. I've done a video on that. We need to go to administration, configuration, and you need to go to router default configuration here. You need to go erase all NVRAM. Click OK. If you've been following my channel, Check out some of my Tech Tuesday videos. These are videos on gaming peripherals that I do on Tuesdays generally. Um, and they show you some things like gaming mice, mouse pads, some technology like the graphics cards, or some mining videos as well for ether mining. So just wait here a minute while this restores the default. Another thing to note during this period in time, the internet will be down for anyone else using it. So that's something to bear in mind. It'll probably take around five minutes. So one of the things to note here is that once it rebooted the device after it flashed it to the Netgear Genie, the admin default password is admin lowercase and password lowercase, but it didn't actually let me in with that. I had to then go and hard reset the router. So I had to use the little pin on the back and do a factory reset. Hold it down for about 10 seconds and it'll reset it back to default. And once it does that, then it will let you in with admin and lowercase password. So if you can't log in after the firmware update to put it back to the Netgear Genie, Go downstairs or wherever your route is located and reset it button on the back to the defaults. So there you have it. Route is now back to Netgear Genie. If you want to know how to put it up to the next tomato or the DD Works, check out the videos. I'll put links in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you want to share anything else, like firewalls or wireless settings or anything. And until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all again later. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.